Hey guys, Talk with Cyclone FPV here today, and I'm doing I'm doing the video uh, series here on the DB5 kit that we did. This is going to be the analog version of the DB5. So let me get started with that. Uh, Sam, I think I'm going to need a VTX. Oh no, never mind, never mind. I forgot it's built into the board. Sorry. So uh, I was getting my two builds mixed up. So um, what I'm going to show you right now, we're going to go over the parts here real quickly. All right. So let me split the screen up for you. There we go. All right, uh, just to show you what we've got here, what's gonna come in your kit. Now this one is actually being built for a customer. So I'm gonna use his video as the video for the kit series. Uh, in this one, we're gonna be using an XM Plus receiver. So here's your XM Plus. Uh, this is the R Charlotte's 35 amp 4-in-1 ESC. Uh, as you can see here, you will be required to put the um, uh, XT60 together and solder it. Okay, so just, just I'll show you exactly how to do that too. We'll set that aside. Here are the four Brother Hobby motors, just to show you what that looks like. These are the Deadpool motors right here. Okay, so I'll show you how this is gonna work. Let me put these back in the box for now. We'll do each one in its own video segment. So let me set that aside. All right, so we'll take that. Okay, uh, this is your FPV camera, as you can see right here. And it's it's in its own wrapping right now, which I'll show you that when we take it out and the wires that'll go with that. Let me put that aside. This is the HDLRC F4 V5 Pro. This is an older board, but it's one of my favorite boards. So I'm gonna show you how to work this one too. This has the built-in VTX right there. All right. And last but not least, we have the frame. So this is the uh, this is the uh, Transtech Laser DB5 frame. Uh, we had a, a, a simple label put on it for us so that we could do it under inventory. Uh, here you go. So that's the frame right there. Okay. And this is the actual uh, parts. So I'm going to take this out of the box because this is what I'm going to start with today. I'm going to save this box though, and I tell you guys probably do the same. You can put all your uh, excess materials in there and so forth. Uh, but we're going to get started with this one. So uh, these are the materials. Very quick video on this one just to go over the materials. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dive in by starting with the frame first and assembling the frame. So I'll be right back with that one. 